Hello there, my name is David Franco from Squarespace Summit over at spacesummit.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful photo gallery in just a few clicks. Now thankfully Squarespace is heavily emphasized on images. They simply love galleries and I cannot blame them because I'm a big believer in beautifully displaying images in a grid-like fashion. Because after all, you have to make it a pleasant experience for the user who is currently viewing your website. So to do just that, let's press the escape key on our keyboard, which brings up the site manager. And then click on pages. Okay, so now this is where it gets interesting. This simply varies depending on what you're more comfortable doing. You have two options. You can either create a gallery on its own and then drop it onto a page, or just create a page specifically for the purpose of only holding a gallery. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see what I mean. So to get started, let's make a new gallery by clicking on the plus sign in the left navigation and then selecting gallery. So as you can see, Squarespace gives you the option to easily name your gallery from the beginning. So for this video's purpose, let's just call this example gallery press return or enter on your keyboard and boom the gallery is created and ready for content to be dropped in. This is where you drag your content into the collection otherwise known as your gallery. Okay so over here on the right side of my desktop I have four images set up for this video's purpose. I'm going to simply drag these into the collection view and Squarespace will automatically import these images and render them making it so easy for me the user. And just like that the images are now part of this gallery. But if you wanted to customize the settings of this gallery simply click this small gear icon right up here. Okay so this is where you can set up some very basic settings for your gallery such as its description and maybe even a password for whatever reason perhaps you wanted to lock it down for only certain people to access. But the more interesting parts of this is going back to pages and now let's create a new page by clicking the plus sign click page and let's just call this gallery page this is basically where we will be dropping our gallery onto this page okay so hovering over the white space on the right side of your browser click edit and right here on the edges you'll see these little bubbles clicking that brings up the add content view and then right here in the middle where it says gallery, you have four options. You have slideshow, carousel, grid, or stack. Now personally, as I made clear before, I just really enjoy the grid view. It's classic, it's modern, it's simple, and it just works. Okay, so this is what I was talking about before. Squarespace gives you the choice of either uploading images right there on the spot or using an existing gallery, which is what I did before. So clicking that, we can scroll down right here at the very bottom it says example gallery selecting that brings up my gallery and as you can see the page automatically imports those photos from that specific gallery but if I want to further customize the design and the layouts of this gallery simply click design up here and we can choose our aspect ratio we can crop the images we can display how many thumbnails are viewed per row. So let's do two, which I don't really recommend unless your website is kind of going for that unique large image kind of view. But you can also customize the padding, otherwise known as the spacing between your images. And right down here, you can turn on Lightbox, which enables your users to view your images in a pop-up Lightbox view. So clicking Save, save this page go back to your full website view and click on any of your images and as you can see the image automatically opens up in a nice simple light box view which in my opinion is the best route to take it makes the process just easy and pleasant for the user okay so to navigate these images simply click anywhere on the left or right side of the pictures and it does just that it navigates left and it navigates right and of course to exit your gallery simply click the X button in the top right hand corner of your browser. And well there you go you have successfully created a beautiful and functional photo gallery on your Squarespace website. 
And now finally, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video tutorial powered by Squarespace Summit.